What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another video for Classic WoW Hardcore. Today we are taking a look at a blue post from Blizzard, which gives us a lot of information regarding these official Hardcore servers, including a launch window for the servers themselves, giving you a rough idea of when to expect them to come out. And throughout this video, we will also go through what needs to be done on the public test realm and my own opinions on the Hardcore server. I've already done a video on my own predictions of the hardcore servers and when they would come out, and let's just say I was very optimistic, assuming a June launch for hardcore. I guess I put too much faith into Blizzard putting in the work necessary for these hardcore servers, and I thought this would be something they would have been working on for a while, which turns out to probably not be the case. The Hardcore Service announcement is now 3 weeks ago, and during that announcement they said they would spin up a Hardcore PTR, aka Public Test Realm, which we could expect sooner than we think. And I'm not sure about you, but I was assuming that PTR would be out in less than 2 weeks from that announcement, considering I've seen PTRs come up pretty much right after the announcement before. But we are now 3 weeks away, and no PTRs to be seen just yet. That being said, I really do believe we will see PTR, like Hardcore PTR, next week, so within the next 7 days of this video coming out. So let's go through the blue post which covers the launch window, and I will also give you my prediction on a launch date within that launch window. Greetings, we are now preparing for a new 1.14.4 patch for WoW Classic Era, to support WoW Classic Hardcore Realms. In addition to official Hardcore Realms, this patch will also include a large update to the vanilla PvP honor system for all Classic Era Realms. This patch will completely reset all honor system ranking progress on all Classic Era Realms when it's released. While we do not have a specific date to share just yet for when the patch will be released, we want you to know that it will likely arrive in the next 8-12 to 12 weeks. If you are in the middle of ranking in WoW Classic Era, you may want to take that time frame into account before continuing. And if you are about to start ranking a character, you may not have enough time to hit rank 14 before the patch arrives and your care progress is actually lost. Please know that we do not take something like a PvP ranking progress reset, uh, reset lightly. The updates we are making to the Classic Era version of the game are required for the long term health of that version of the game. We look forward to providing more information on this when we open the Classic Era patch 1.14.4 PTR sometime in the next several weeks. Now this blue post was posted about a patch 1.14.4 patch for Classic Era, which is the patch that introduces the hardcore server option for Classic Era. In this post they said that they wanted to give people currently ranking up a final chance to achieve the ranks that they want to achieve by giving them a launch date window approximate for this patch. Now, while nothing is set in stone in terms of release dates, this is the approximate given by Blizzard themselves. Now, this post was made on May 23rd, and the launch window said 8 to 12 weeks. This means the estimated launch for patch 1.14.4, and therefore the hardcore servers are estimated to be between the 18th of July and the 15th of August. Public test realms never usually stay up for more than 4-6 to six weeks unless it's being used as a promotional tool, so personally I am thinking the actual launch date will be based on when the PTR comes up. If we do in fact end up getting that PTR next week, like I am personally thinking, then the actual launch date will be based, it, it, like it's going to be the actual launch might be closer to in the earlier part of that release window, while the more they hold off on pushing the PTR, then later into that release window we actually end up going. If I had to throw a guess out of thin air based on my own thoughts here for a release date, I would say July 25th, unless they artificially hold the servers until early August, just so they don't end up launching them in the middle of everyone's summer vacations. Now this is where I will bring something up real quick that is worth talking about, 
This is not a new game, and it's not a new expansion. It's a patch for Classic Era, basically a pretty big update, but not a new expansion. Think of it like a new patch in Retail WoW like 10.1, or a new face in Wrath Classic. It brings a lot of new content, and in this case it also brings out hardcore servers. In the past, patch updates like this tend to roll out with the weekly maintenance, which means North American servers will get access to hardcore servers one day before EU does. I just wanted to throw this one out there and ask what you think. Will it come out during the weekly maintenance and recreate the usual NA vs EU drama, or do you think it will actually be a global launch? Alright, let's talk PTR. During the PTR, there are a couple of things that they really need to look at. Number one, identify bugs, and glitches, and exploits. Remove exploits so people can't cheat, remove bugs so people don't bug out and die, and the same thing with glitches. Add in invisible walls to stop exploits and botting, and it's a huge step forward. Number two, disconnect deaths caused by the game itself and not by your internet, like for example, bugging through the floor and disconnecting then dying, or bugging out on a flight path then disconnecting, and ending up falling off the flight upon logging back in, and jumping under water which results in disconnecting, at least on the EU Classic Era servers. Now they also need to really dive into griefing. The word griefing is a broad term which goes over a lot of ways for other players to effectively ruin the game for other people, and for Classic WoW and especially Classic Hardcore, there are so many ways to grief, which needs to be prevented. Now for the Hardcore servers themselves, Blizzard have already said that they don't want to... That, that, really? Blizzard have already said that they want to focus on the social elements of the game, and they don't really want to enforce too many rules, which hints towards the only actual rule being death equals ghost. Keyword here is being hint towards. That being said, Blizzard obviously listens to feedback, and that's why we're getting hardcore servers in the first place, and based on how many people actually want the solo self founder rules on hardcore servers, why not just add an NPC like the Soul of Iron NPC that we had in Season of Mastery, who can then give you a buff which enforces those rules on your character, and by getting to level 60 with that buff, you get a unique title. You obviously need to activate that buff at level 1. That way you can do the hardcore challenge both with and without the rules, and by doing the solo self found challenge you get a visual buff on your character, which shows people you're doing the SSF challenge, plus you get a title to brag about. Just a thought. Either way, that's pretty much what I have for you today, leave a like on the video, and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.